We're to sports director Joe Zone, who's got some exciting news right now. Joe? It has just gone final on your TV. You may be a little bit behind, but on ours, we are ahead. The UConn men have just done it. 75 to 60 is the final I'm getting. They're celebrating back-to-back -back national championships. I mean, what a team. What a season, what a legacy. We talked about that big round, that big battle at the beginning of the game, the two big guys. Yep, we've got it, Chris. Thank you. UConn winning that game, final now. They are back-to-back -back champs. They uh, blew it open in the second half. Close game. Big guy, Zach Eady, scoring for them. He had 32 points for them. Donovan Klingon stayed in the game, had four fouls, stayed with it. And here we are. We are back-to-back -back champs. I know they're celebrating that on campus. Are we going to go to campus? Are we going back to you, Mark? Yeah, I'll campus? take it from you here. Got it. All I right. just want to mention, though, Joe, you can't really show a lot right now because no, there's a lot no, of rules. No. When they're celebrating, yeah. we can't show anything. All right. we can't. Trust us. It was a good game. <laughs> yeah. All of you probably watched it. Yeah, right. All right. We want to head out to uh, where are we going? We're going out to uh, Phoenix because that's where Aaron Connolly and Mark Robbins are joining us live right outside. Hi there, guys. raced out watching the final seconds the crowd electric in there and they did it mark they got the repeat we've been talking about it all season long just how good this team is and they sure proved it tonight and they do it by double digits again for the 12th straight game in this tournament and as we said about the first half it was one against five and the UConn depth is one against seven or eight really because UConn goes that deep Zach Eady has 37 points and it's not enough to keep them even close at the end of the ball game. This game was double digits from about 11 minutes remaining all the way to the end. And it was because of the UConn defense in the second half. They pushed ZD away, uh, ED away from the uh, inside zone, and they were able to up, get the, the pace up uh, a bit, and it tired out Purdue. Huskies got backdoor opportunities, some layups, built up the lead, and that was it. It is so difficult to win back-to-back -back NCAA championships. You've been covering the UConn men for so many years how good is this team this team as a team is the best team that I've seen at UConn I've seen all the national championship clubs this team works together they their puzzle pieces fit perfectly and they work together and they have an, an effort that is tireless it is relentless uh, the, that's the only less they have tireless and relentless because there's nothing less about this team they just, they can score inside, they can score outside, they can beat you in a variety of ways. And another way was tonight against a giant inside who had 37 points and it didn't phase him. And how incredible for Dan Hurley and his coaching staff to be able to pull off back-to-back -back championships with the transfer portal and everything that goes on in the offseason. And you hit it because tonight I think was a large part because of the coaching of this team and the way they got this team to play in the second half to offset Zach Eady's prowess and power on the inside. They were able to do things. I'm anxious to hear the post game to, to hear what uh, Dan has to say about how they changed the tempo and how they changed things in the second half. Well, you wouldn't know it behind us because the crowd is very quiet because that is the Purdue crowd leaving all of the UConn fans inside right now. They were very loud and we've seen it really since last Wednesday, Mark, when we got here. UConn Nation really showed up here in Phoenix. They did. It was a tremendous crowd, but obviously Purdue probably four to five times uh, the crowd because Purdue hadn't been here in 44 years so Boiler Nation came out in great support but the Huskies that didn't face UConn either a, a loud uh, opposing crowd had no effect on this team number six for the UConn men they are once again national champions Mark from Phoenix we want to send it back to you all right guys